Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with BS Media, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to use the HDR optimizer on your Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player. So here I have the Panasonic UB820 4K Blu-ray player, but this should also work on the UB420 and the UB9000 as the interface is basically one and the same. So the same process should also work for you guys. So before you even put a disc in there, you want to go to your settings here, And then we're going to player settings. And then you want to go to HDMI and go all the way down to the bottom to advanced settings. And go to HDR TV type. So this way you can tell the Blu-ray player what kind of TV type that you do have. So that way it can basically get the HDR optimizer to work its best. So that way it already knows exactly how bright your TV can get. Maybe how bright it doesn't get. So that way it's getting all of that data uh, basically as precise as it can because if you have it on super high luminous LCD and you have an OLED like myself it's not going to look as best as it could I mean maybe it might do a little something but <laughs> it's not going to look as best by any means so make sure you have that set first and to the right setting so we're going to back all the way out of here we're going to throw a 4k blu-ray in there and then I'm going to show you guys how to get to that menu uh, but I do want you guys to keep in mind that if you are gonna do this, it only it can only be a 4K Blu-ray, of course, and you have to make sure that it's not Dolby Vision or HDR10+. Plus. So I'm gonna do Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, it doesn't have HDR10+, Plus or the Dolby Vision, uh, because if it already has that, then HDR Optimizer is basically turned off, like you can't get to it unless you turn off Dolby Vision and the Blu-ray player settings, because it's already doing the same thing the HDR Optimizer does do. Uh, so this helps boost those 4K Blu-rays that don't have uh, HDR10 Plus or the Dolby Vision and tries to get the most out of those pictures. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to use that now. Okay, we now have the disc in. I have a pause on a scene. And so I'm going to first show you guys some different HDR settings you can get to before the HDR optimizer. So if you want to change it to a different viewing environment is what they call it, you would hit the HDR setting buttons just once. And it's going to say this function is effect effectively bright in a bright in a bright viewing environment. Da da da. It's just going to give you some recommendations, which you probably can't even see that because the screen is so bright. There we go. I'm going to click next, and it's going to bring up all these different HDR settings. So it has standard, natural environment, light environment, and bright environment. I just keep mine on the standard because I'm just going to keep it at whatever I had my TV at. So I'm not worried about that. Just press enter and it goes away. Now, if you want to get to the HDR optimizer itself, you're going to hold down the HDR settings button, and that's when you get to the HDR optimizer. So I already have mine on. I'm going to press enter on it, and you can scroll back off and on. And that's why you can turn it on from there. And then you can also adjust the dynamic range adjustment so you can make it where there's more and it makes it a little brighter and you can see some of those shadows and stuff starting to open up a little bit on the edges. It kind of just opens up the image in general. You can make it a little bit darker and so forth from there. Then you also have a brightness, tone curve white, tone curve black, and system gamma. Now I'm not going to answer the question if I think it works really well. I'm going to leave that guy, leave that question up to you guys and you let me know down in the comments if you think it's worth getting this Blu-ray player just for the HDR optimizer. If you've been using it in general, you think it's great. Let me know down in the comments, guys. So this is all the video I got for y'all today. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.